Bible says, you know, that even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, can be, can be esteemed as wise. People will look at you and think, wow, that person's really smart just by not saying very much. Because of how many stupid things people say. And I'm no different. Look, I'm a human being. I have the same little member in my mouth. But you got to learn to apply that filter so that you don't just let everything that wants to roll off your tongue actually come out. Because the more you do that, the more likely you are to, to throw down a little bit of fire that's going to turn into some huge, massive, destructive flame. Now, when you can control your mouth, you can make a lot of good come out of that. Again, when you got the word of God coming out of your mouth, you're, you could be sowing that seed and reaping great benefits and great rewards and doing great work for the Lord. But on the flip side, you got to be careful with what's coming out so you're not causing destruction. Verse number seven says, For every kind of beasts and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and hath been tamed of mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Now, we need to be careful with these things. And I'm just going to close on this thought because when it's talking about our mouth and the tongue, it's talking about what's coming out of it. Your thoughts, your ideas. This is very easily applied to social media today as well. I mean, just because you're using your fingers to type, it's the same thing. Right? You could just as well say it's coming out of your mouth. Okay. And I would encourage everybody, and I don't think there's a problem with this here, but you know what? We're all human and, and we all have the, the sinful flesh. Things get out of hand really quickly. You start getting involved in strifes and dramas and things that, that don't pertain to you. And people have this tendency to, to, for some reason, think that everybody wants to hear their opinion on everything that's going on everywhere. But you know what? That's not true. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but everybody doesn't care what you think. The vast majority of people don't. But you know what? Sometimes depending on what comes out of your mouth, then all of a sudden you start getting attention and you may end up getting unwanted attention because that in turn ends up causing a lot of extra drama. We don't, we don't need, you need to learn to, and here's what I learned to do is because I, look, I've been involved in this. I understand. I know the, the, the compelling, you know, oh man, I just want to, I just, I just need to put this on here. You're never going to win the internet. You're never going to win the debate. Okay. You start arguing online, just forget it. Okay, it's not going to happen. They never end. The debates never end. You never, you never get that last word in. Okay, you're going to be up till four in the morning. If you're going back and forth with people, it's just not going to work. And most importantly, though, I think what you need to be able to do is just take a step back before you even, if you're going to communicate, if you're going to respond, I'm not saying you just have to turn off all social media and you just can't do anything with it, but just be aware of the potential for a lot of damage and harm that can be done, especially to your testimony, to your reputation. You want to be known to have a good reputation. You want to be known as someone who's not just bringing a bunch of drama. Now look, if drama happens because you're serving the Lord, because people are attacking you, then it is what it is. Okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to make it bring a, a, a you know, an inaccurate representation of just all drama is just bad. But if you have a good reputation, if you have a good testimony, if you're faithfully serving the Lord, expect the attacks, expect people to lie about you, expect people to try to drag your name through the mud and slander you. That's going to happen no matter what. Okay, but you don't need to add to that. You don't need to add fuel to the fire. You don't need to correct everybody who's trying to, you know, say bad things about you. Don't get involved with in them. Don't worry about it. You can't control what other people say, but you can control what you say. And that's what matters. Put the filter in place. Someone says something, oh man, that makes me upset. Before you hit enter, before you actually send off whatever that is, why don't you just take a few minutes and reread and think and let yourself settle down because the, the, the worst thing you could do is make emotional decisions. And that's one of the reasons why the tongue could be so dangerous 
I mean, who's ever had an argument with your spouse, right? Because it's so e words come off so fast. I mean, way faster than even typing does, right? And how many times have you said something that you, that you regretted later? Or that caused a lot of hurt and damage? Because you ultimately said something you know you shouldn't have said. And people end up going places because they act emotionally and they let things come off their tongue without applying the, the, the sound thinking filter first and go, wait, oh, no, hold on a second. I'm not going to say that. There's no purpose for that here. It's only going to cause damage. It's only going to do harm. Nope. No reason to do that. Apply that to your mouth, but apply that also on, on your anywhere where you're, you're giving your words, putting them out there whether it be verbally or, or through text. Keep that in mind because it's going to save you from a lot of damage.